So I've been using the iPhone 15 Pro Max since its release, right? It works seamlessly with my iPad Pro, it works seamlessly with my MacBook Pro, which I use for absolutely everything here on the channel and my clinical work as a therapist. And it works with 90% of my family and friend group who also have iPhones and are part of Team Blue Bubble. Good morning, my love. I hope you had a safe drive to work in this rainy weather today. Um, I hope you slept well, absorbed many REM cycles. I love you and may you make it a fantastic day today. Mwah. Bye. Oh, oh. But frankly, I can't help but feel that every single time I pick up the iPhone 15 Pro Max, there are concessions that I'm making consciously that when I'm picking up, say, my Galaxy S24 Ultra, I flat out just don't have to make. And I don't know about you guys, but I've reached a point in my life where I'm tired of making concessions just to use a phone as my daily driver. And don't get me wrong, right? I mean, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a spectacular piece of tech that's a lot stronger than a lot of people are going to need it to be on like a day-to-day -day basis. But realistically, and if I'm being completely honest with you guys, there's a lot of hamstringing going on that I just don't experience with the S24 Ultra. So in this video, I'm going to break down for you guys, even though I'm largely in the Apple ecosystem, why the S24 Ultra is flat out just the right choice for me on a day-to-day -day basis and why it might be the right choice for you. If you guys are new here, my name is Dave and I do tech. Now for the sake of keeping things balanced really quickly, I'm gonna list off the things that in my personal experience, I've found the iPhone 15 Pro Max to be really good at and beneficial at on a day-to-day -day basis. For starters, the battery life lasts you all day, which it does over here as well on the S24 Ultra. You're getting like eight plus hours worth of screen on time out of both. When it comes to gaming, gaming on both of these is exceptional. You can run the maximum graphical fidelity settings on absolutely everything at maximum frame rates. With the exception in some games, you can hit 120 frames per second, which you can't on the 24 Ultra, but if I'm being honest, this phone still gets warmer than the S24 Ultra in a lot of different ways. And especially if you're gaming, even if you're gaming at 60 FPS on both of these, the iPhone 15 Pro Max gets warmer faster, gets hotter faster. And I think the 120 frames per second on your phone, although it's cool to have, is unnecessary. I think 60 FPS on both of these maximum everything is great. Phone call quality, a lot of people ask about that. Yes, it's excellent. It's excellent over here too. Um, we're at a point where like phone call quality is not really a problem on any device, but it is good there. In terms of speakers, I would definitely give the speaker edge to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Apple always does a great job with their speakers in their devices. It's just a bit louder, is a bit bassier, and has a little bit of uh, better sound quality, especially like in the high ranges. The S24 Ultra in a vacuum, honestly, is really good if you're not comparing them side by side. This sounds really great as well. And at that point, I think that's where I can pretty confidently and safely say that's sort of where the comparisons and the better offerings over here kind of stop. I always like knowing where you guys stand as a viewer, right? Like where your mindset is in terms of which phones you're looking for. So let me know in the comment section if you're coming from an iPhone with the hashtag Apple emoji or if you're coming from a previous Galaxy device or looking to make the transition to a Galaxy device. Let me know with that like hashtag, uh, like that crystal ball Galaxy emoji because ultimately this is for you guys. And so that additional information does help me a lot and helps keep me informed. But for starters, outside of this YouTube thing, my day job is that of a clinical therapist. And so working with different families and clientele on a day to day basis and needing to record, um, you know, the things that are discussed in session, the different interventions that we've attempted, what their diagnosis might be, what their history is, right? And on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, you have the S Pen for starters, which I've used a lot of times. Immediately after a session, open up phone as a notepad and jot down a couple of notes for myself for reference for later, for when there are specific important key portions of the session that I don't want to forget. And then you have the inclusion of Galaxy AI, for example, which I've shown off in my previous Galaxy S24 Ultra review videos, where I'm able to speak to the phone and it's able to contextually break down the specific bullet points and key phrases and pieces of information. And that's something that I can't do on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and not everybody's going to need that. But for me on a day-to-day -day basis and having phone and using as a life companion, that's something that is tremendously valuable. And it's something that I 
appreciate every single time that I use it. Or having the Galaxy AI flexibility of being able to say, point my camera at something, know exactly where something came from, or have something on my screen, circle it, and have the phone give me contextual information of what the thing is, where I could find out more information about that particular thing. There are just so many applications, especially with the Galaxy AI, that are very impactful on a day-to-day -day basis. I mentioned, right, using the S Pen earlier to write, if my handwriting is like slanted or tilted, it will auto adjust and correct uh, an approximation of like what my handwriting should look like in a more aligned way. Those kinds of things add immense quality of life to your day to day. And for me personally, when I'm looking at a phone, I'm looking for something that's on my hip every single day as a life companion. And this checks off so many boxes in so many ways, which actually at the time of recording this, it is March 28th. And so the Galaxy Fold 5, S23 Ultra and 23 series are going to be getting a rollout update to give them Galaxy AI also. And so then there's also that part of it also where the ecosystem as a whole is more conducive to day-to-day -to -day life happenings, but more on that later. And think of the multitasking. Multitasking is something that I use all of the time on every single Android device that I use, be it the Pixels or my Galaxy Fold 5 or the OnePlus Open, and most certainly here on the S24 Ultra. I don't see a reason in 2024 why you have a phone with this size screen real estate and you can't utilize it to multitask in a number of different ways. And again, objectively, is multitasking something that everyone's going to be using all of the time? No, but I think the point is that there are going to be times when that would be nice to have and your phone is more than capable of doing it. There's no reason that you shouldn't be able to at least attempt it when you want to. And of course, in terms of the cameras, the iPhone 15 Pro Max most certainly has bright spots there as well. I have a few dedicated video reviews breaking down the cameras and co directly comparing the phone to other devices. I'll have those linked right up here for you guys if you want to watch that after this video. The iPhone 15 Pro Max does capture excellent pictures when you're really just trying to like point and shoot. But even then, you are still not getting the zoom capabilities that you're getting over here on the S24 Ultra and for that matter, even like the S23 Ultra. Again, is everybody going to need that? No, but it's nice having that as an option. There's a lot of practical use applications, and I don't think that's necessarily a deal breaker when I talk about accentuating one's lifestyle, but it's definitely something to mention. Then you have things like Samsung Dex, which literally turn your phone into a desktop as long as you have a monitor. That's something that I personally do not use all of the time, if I'm being completely honest and transparent, because I do have my MacBook Pro, which I use for basically everything again, both YouTube and my clinical work, but Having the availability and the option of being able to bring, a, say, a portable monitor with you on a flight, or if you're going to, like, say, a library or something and want a portable desktop setup, and flat out, that's just not something that you have here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But it's been nice having times when I'm able to just have, like, sort of a portable setup. And even though I don't use it all the time, the optionality being available to you is amazing. I'd almost say priceless, but it's amazing. Also, if you guys are enjoying the video, I have a goal for the end of this year to hit 50,000 subscribers to work towards being a full-time content creator for you guys. I love doing this YouTube thing. So if you're enjoying the video, want to see more, uh, hitting the subscribe button is the best way to stay up to date and a thumbs up those go a long way to helping me out. But back to your video. I can see why you would go for an iPhone. It's a lot more simplistic um, and it kind of just does the things that you would use a phone for. But I would argue for the amount that you're paying for phones like this, it should be able to do more. And don't get me wrong, AirDrop is really great when I'm transferring photos and files and things like that to my iPad or my MacBook. Uh, but for me, that's kind of where the quality of life feature stops with the iPhone. There are things it does well, but when I'm looking for something to accentuate my lifestyle in a number of different ways, this just always has an answer and it always has a solution for the most part. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much again for stopping by and hanging out. I wish you a fantastic remainder of your day, afternoon, or night, depending on the time it is you are watching this. And as always, peace, love, adios, bye guys, and have a great day.